What's good everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from Maxi Tunes. Guess what? Cubase is on sale now. This is the best time to get Cubase, whether updating or upgrading or even cross grading from other door, right? Definitely the best time to update. So I'd like to share with you guys about some of the things that you should be aware of when you are updating or upgrading from your current version to the latest version of Cubase. So when I update from Cubase 12 to 13, I was using the trial version first because I was just messing around with the door and I found out that all the settings from my Cubase 12 is being carried forward. For instance, my MIDI remote script was carried over to Cubase 13 and then if I go to my VST instrument from here, I have this favorite folder which is which I created and you can go to plugin manager to see those folder, right? This is my my go to plugins that I use on a regular basis and if I go to VST effects I have more plugins right here right so VST instruments and effects let me go sh show you the VST effects one so this is default and this is my favorite right so so this was also carried forward for me when I was when I was going from Cubase 12 to Cubase 13 so which is a really good thing right however if you are using an older version of Cubase I'm not really sure whether it will be carried forward or not, right? So if that is the case, now you have a few things that you can do to ensure that you can bring the or all the bring all the settings from your current version to Cubis 13 and it can help you transit from one version to another version, all right? So what you have to do is you have to go to edit here, edit, go to profile manager right here. Click on it. Okay, now this is my current profile, which I created a long time ago. And when you open this window, you may not be able to see the name here. I think it will, I think the name appear here will be a default profile. So what you can do, you can actually click on rename and rename those profile, or you can duplicate that profile and then you can create another version of that profile. Or you can just click a new profile and then you can work on creating that profile so what I did was I just renamed the current profile because I've already copied over all my settings like my my preference settings my current VST effects and all the stuff it's, it's being set in a way that is more useful for me and that profile is was the default profile so I just renamed it and kept it right but what I'm saying is that you can actually have a couple of different profile. For instance, let's say you're working with a couple of producers and they're using Cubase as well, right? They can export their profile from their computer and then when they come to your studio, they can load their profile here and then maybe they have a different key command, right? They can use that profile in your computer or in your studio. You can go ahead and create as many profiles that you want, right? So once you have created, right, what you have to do is you have to go to export. So when you click on export, it will bring you to this folder, which is documents, Steinberg. So then I already have exported it, this one, Accessy Tunes, right? So just save them. We can name them whatever you want, right? Now let's go to Cubase 13, right? So I've reset my Cubase 13 so I can show you guys what you might see after you upgrade, right? So I'm going to go to VST instrument and you can see I don't have the favorite folder here. Let me go back to Cubase 12. You can see I have a favorite folder here for VST effects and VST in instrument, right? Favorite default. But when I go to Cubase 13, I don't have it. I have the plugin manager and all this stuff, but I don't have my favorite folder okay so don't panic don't worry about it so the first thing that you need to do now is go to edit and go to profile manager right this is the default so if you see here we have default and Zamir so default is the same as the one in Cubase 12 so remember when I say that when I launched Cubase 13 all the profile settings of Cubase 12 was already carried forward so that was default but can you see this check mark here? It means I'm not using the default profile, which is why you don't see the favorite folder here. This is another profile that I just created just for the sake of this video. 
and it's showing that it's empty now, right? And you can see it's checked, which means I'm currently on this profile, okay? So what you're going to have to do now is you have to go to import and then you have this access to tunes. This is, the, this is the profile that we just exported and click on open, right? So now, if you notice, I still haven't activated this, right? So I can just click on this profile and click on this activate profile. Now you're going to get this message. You must restart the application for the profile switch to take effect. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close this. Let's restart this guy. Don't save. I'm going to go Cubase 13. So it is loading, scanning the plugins. Okay, now I'm in Cubase 13. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to VST Instrument. And now you see this favorite folder is already here. We have default and favorite. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do to have a backup of your profile. Okay, now you go back to Cubase 12 or whichever the version that you have. Go to Edit and Preferences. I'm pretty sure you have changed some of these settings here. For instance, let's say you like the track on background click and parts get track names and all this stuff right usually this will not be a default settings right and if you want the same settings from preference what you can do is you can save this preference right you can go ahead and click on save and then type in the name and hit ok so i have already saved the preference preset here so i'm going to click on this access it tunes right so in order for you to find this folder right it's very simple. All you have to do is go to, oops, close. Go to this home screen, go to file browser, just find some file here. Okay, maybe this is a template. I'm gonna right click, go to show in Explorer. And now under project templates, no, under Cubase 12, you have these presets, right? So when you click on these presets, under configuration, you have this settings of the, preference all right so this is how you can load the preference to to the next version of cubase all right so let's go ahead and load this preference settings here okay so now we are in cubase 13 and we're going to load that preference settings actually you need to create a preference settings first so you can just save this as maybe a default all right save it oops sorry Okay, now go to file browser and go to show in Explorer, project templates, Cubase 13, and then go to presets. Now we have this configuration folder. This is the default that we just saved in Cubase 13. We don't want the default settings, right? So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go to presets from Cubase 12 and I'm going to go to configuration. Access the tunes, copy this, and bring it forward to the presets configuration. All right. Now, the cool stuff. I'm going to go to edit, go to preference, I'm going to click on this access the tunes, apply. So now all the preference from Cubase 12 is being carried forward to. Cubase 13, right? So these are the two things that you can do, right? You can also, if you want, you can go to all your project templates and, and find your stuff and then bring it forward. So these are the two things that you have to do in order to make your transition be more smooth, right? The last thing that I'd like to share with you guys is do not uninstall the older version, at least for the next few months. Because when you are using Cubase 13 or the latest version of Cubase, sometimes your previous version may look completely different. And if you're working on a couple of projects, that can slow you down. And we don't want that, especially when we're on a tight deadline, right? Don't uninstall your previous version for the next couple of months until you are comfortable with Cubase 13 or the newer version of Cubase. Then you can uninstall the older version. Right, so these are the three things that you have to do when you're updating or upgrading Cubase, all right.
so that's it for today guys i hope you guys find value in this video if you guys did please make sure to subscribe turn on notification smash the like button and share this video to everybody thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video